Hi, welcome to Paige Gross Design. Today I have a necklace project that pays homage to both of my grandmothers. Uh, it's made out of my granny's bingo chips and my grandmother's uh, costume jewelry. Uh, some of her costume jewelry was not in nice enough shape to wear. So I disassembled it and I had these great little test tubes that I put them in so it kept all the beads together that were on you know, one piece of jewelry. And um, we're going to make a necklace like what I'm wearing. You'll need a few things. You'll need jewelry pliers, jump rings, um, 21 bingo chips, 15 beads, head pins, um, 15 head pins. Seven jump rings, a uh, closure for your necklace, some leather cording, um, the little bell caps, two of those, a uh, lobster claw, two jump rings for the end, uh, five jump rings for the main body of the necklace. And it assembles very quickly. I'm going to take a head pin, put a bead on it. Now the bingo chips, you're going to need to put a small hole for what turns out to look like this, which gets assembled on a jump ring. Three of them get assembled on the jump ring for the final necklace. But you'll need small holes, teeny tiny holes for that. And so you'll need um, 15 bingo chips with tiny holes. And then in between, we're gonna put a spacer in between those clusters like that. It's a little bigger hole. These pliers with the conical ends is what you're going to use for this. And you're just going to grab that head pin at the end. And you're just going to keep rolling it down. So it looks like that. And you're going to do 15 of those. And then in my case, like I said, I, I used necklaces. So whatever the beading was, it was part of the necklace. I used those color combinations, but I, I put them with contrasting bingo chips. Once you get all of these, made. I'm going to take a jump ring, about a quarter of an inch. I'll get the millimeter and put it on the supply list for this. Trouble seeing where it's split. I'm going to open that jump ring up. Now with that jump ring, you're going to three of the bingo chips that are already beaded and you may end up needing two needle nose pliers to hold it. Sometimes my fingers get in the way. And 
and you reach down in there with your other pair of pliers and close that jump ring up. And if you find that it ends up just being way too difficult, go to the next size up jump ring and it'll be way easier. In fact, I'll even show you that. I did manage to struggle with all of mine and I put them on the smaller jump ring. But it is not necessary. Once you have five of these done, then you're gonna get your you're gonna get your leather cord. Forgot to mention you're gonna need a little bit of super glue. I always go ahead and put one one end on. Keeps the beads from falling off. Are my five three four five and since I used green and blue together I hole punched six So three um, blue, three green, and I did those with a larger hole punch. And you're going to alternate colors. And you're just going to put the leather cord through that jump ring. Now blue. Now green. And it's done. Now you're just going to take your other bell cap and your super glue. This is done. I did several different colors. And if you want to do a couple different configurations, you can put spacer beads in between 